What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tamika. I am coming to you. I was um, on my way home today, <clears throat> and I was thinking about, you know, all the excuses I've given in my life, and, you know, so many people would make a long story short. So, uh, you know, I'm always promoting the business that I'm in, and I don't mind... Um, I really don't take phone calls, but I will if a person has questions and stuff like that. And a lot of times I don't even have to give my number out because I put it out there freely. <clears throat> so I don't have to, you know, exactly specify my number to a certain person. So if I give it out and I will tell you, you know, feel free to text. I prefer texting, but if you must call them by all means necessary call, even if you have to send me a, an email, that's fine as well. <clears throat> but a lot of people, uh, when they call, um, and it's usually guys that's calling. That's a good thing, you know. Um, so when they call, they're more like, okay, is this a is this a scam or is this, please tell me a little more about it. I don't mind doing any of those things because, you know, I also have asked those questions before myself and they were answered for me. But I also went to do my own research because the person will tell you exactly what it is that you want to hear based on, not, instead of, you know, what you need to know. So um, that's one thing I don't mind. But my uh, issue is like a lot of people want success. They want wealth. They want the easy money, but they are afraid to invest in it. And, you know, and they will call you and they will text you and they'll send you emails complaining about the money that, you know, that get, they're investing in their own business, which, you know, they will get it back probably a thousand times that or more. So, guys, this is the thing. You will always be trapped in life by your fear if you don't overcome it. A lot of people say, like say now, to, it's, it's tax season, right? So a lot of people get their taxes back and they're like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to invest in that. Nope, I'm not going to do that. You know, they don't do anything meaningful with their money. To them, it is meaningful. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing anybody what they decide to do with their money at all. But if you know, like now you probably don't have a job and you just got your income tax back, it will make more sense for you to invest your money into something that can grow and, you know, work in your favor versus you going out on a shopping spree, going to take crazy trips and, you know, going out to the club, partying, getting your hair, your nails, and all that stuff done. You know, you have to think. When you get money, if I give you a million dollars, I'm not giving you a million dollars for you to save it. I want you to invest your money back so you can, so it can continue to grow, so it can work for you. Because if you don't and you decide to start spending that money, guess what? After a while, you're not going to have any money left. And then you're going to be like, oh, God, I'm going to be broke. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, you take what you can. It's okay to invest or save uh, a certain percentage of it. It's okay to, you know, pay off bills and stuff like that. But you have to learn to, man to manage your money better. You know, you... And don't get me wrong, because I was probably one of the people I was guilty as a, a, a long time ago when I was younger. I was, you know, not spending money crazily or nothing like that. But, you know, I will probably go and buy my kids their, their spring, summer clothes or whatever. And I still do that because they will need clothes. Uh, but nothing that I'm going to go pay crazy money for, like Gucci and Prada and stuff that I normally wouldn't buy. I'm not going to go do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, but... As time went on and I got older and I matured mentally, I started to say, you know what? I need to start investing my money because I want to see my money work for me. Not me always going out having to work for my money. So I invested, I got me a business. Um, I got all my, my business tools here. I also had a studio. So I am on it. But if someone tells you, you know what? You can start your own business or, you know what, here's a product I want you to buy, but if you can turn around, you can sell that product and get all of your money back at the same time. You're like, wow, this is really working for me. So now I'm interested. Now I'm intrigued. Now my mind is actually going places that I never thought it could go before because all of these doors are now opening, right? So you have to start investing. There is nothing worse than getting money and let it slip right through your fingers. Try it. I mean, I know we've all been there before, unless we're really the Scrooges or just that frugal, which I am one of the cheap ones. I'm sorry, I am. Um, 
but you will go through stuff, you know, in your life where you've done things and you gotten X amount of money at one time and you're like, wow, I never had this much in my hand at one time. So let me go and uh, make it rain or whatever. And the next thing you know, two weeks later, when you really need some money, you really don't have it. And then you start thinking like, dang, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. I should have put some aside. I, I know I should have went ahead and paid whomever back. But it's always that I wish I would have things after the fact. But <clears throat> as soon as you get it, go ahead and do something more positive with it. Invest something. Invest in something. Find something that, like I said before, that intrigues your mind that you're interested in doing and that can work for you and start producing more uh, income for you based on the little small amount that you pay. So don't be trapped by fear of being broke when you're not actually doing anything to increase your revenue or increase your income. If you're not doing anything and that nature, then you, your worst fears are coming true because you are making them come true. You're thinking them and you're making them come true. You're bringing that about. So you have to get your mind in the game. Not just in the game or in the street game. You had to get them in the financial game as well. Because you had to, it's time to start looking at the long run, not the short short term, okay? Yeah, look at the long term of your um of your um your your financial goals, the financial aspect, especially if you have family or if you have any intentions on having a family. You don't want your family to have to struggle. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my email, but you don't want your family to have to struggle because mommy or daddy can't Manage their money the way that they need to. You shouldn't have to tell your child, look at your child and say, well, I'm sorry, we're going to have to eat hot dogs tonight because, you know, I really wanted those new shoes in that purse. Or a dad say, oh, yeah, I had to have that new jersey. No, no, no. Invest in you. Invest in your family first. Okay? Let that money work, even if it's just a little bit. Just let it work for you. Put it there. Watch it grow. Watch it grow. Make it work. So, I mean, if you don't know how to do that, you need to find something. Um, I will post my link. You can hit me up in my email. That's always the case. Um, I don't think I'm not going to post my video, my cell phone number here. But if you actually go to my blog site, you can actually see my telephone number on all of my blogs. So, <sighs> until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. Have a good night. Peace.